covering the week's top tech stories with a slight Linux bias. A clever phishing scam is targeting cPanel users with a fake security advisory alerting them of critical vulnerabilities in their web hosting management panel. cPanel is administrative software commonly installed on shared web hosting services that allow website owners to easily administer their site through a graphical user interface. Starting last week, cPanel and web host manager, WHM, users began reporting a targeted phishing email campaign with an email subject of cPanel urgent update request that was pretending to be a security advisory from the company. This fake advisory stated that updates had been released to fix security concerns in cPanel and WHM software and recommends all users install the updates. In addition to a well-worded email with little or no grammar and spelling issues, the threat actors use language commonly found in security advisories. The attackers registered the domain cPanel7831.com to make the scam appear as, as an authentic advisory from cPanel and are using Amazon Simple Email Service, SES, to send out the emails. If a recipient of this phishing email falls for the scam and clicks on the Update Your cPanel and WHM installations, they were brought to a website that prompted a user to log in with their cPanel credentials. As this is a well-done and convincing scam, it would not be surprising if some users fell for the scam. If you received a similar email recently and entered your login credentials at this site, it is strongly suggested that you immediately log in to your web hosting provider and change the password on your account. You should then perform a complete audit of your site while paying extra attention to the addition of strange PHP files that can be used as backdoors. Also, be sure to examine the website's uh, .ht access file for changes that automatically inject malicious code into every web page or redirect visitors. That's an interesting story because for a lot of people who don't have a lot of background knowledge in web development, to be able to go to a DIY web hosting service where you could build your own website with your own cPanel, it seems like such an easy thing. But yeah. most people wouldn't have that tech knowledge to recognize a phishing scam when it came to the cPanel. Sure. And, and I mean, some of the stuff that they get access to if you give them the login credentials can really cause problems. Yeah, like if they have Linux access. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah. certainly, I mean, the, any like cheap hosting solution is going to have some kind of a... A portal, whether it's cPanel or otherwise, yep. but you think about cPanel and, and as you say, a novice user signing up for the $5 hosting account, not really up on the latest security trends, yeah. could be dangerous. Same thing we see with WordPress. Like, oh, exactly. You get a Same. WordPress site because you think it's easy to set up and administer yourself, but you don't realize necessarily, I am generalizing, but maybe you don't realize that that leads to major security impl implications if you are not on the up and up. It's and true. Is super careful. So for somebody who's sitting there going, uh, I do my own website. I mm -hmm. just happened to update my security oh, panel. I just <laughs> gave my login to these hackers. Like what I, I know that, you know, Becca covered in the story, you know, yeah. checking some certain things, but what are some, I think, well, she hit on the, the first thing I would do is check for any recently modified files. And on a Linux server, right. it's really easy because you can do a find dash M time and, and sort by the time uh, that the file was last modified. Okay. And so you can see any file that was modified in the last 10 days. And if you don't, you know, if you uploaded your site six months ago, you know that, hey, those files are suspect. So you That's can look right. at them. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's not like a virus. It's not like you can no. run a virus scan and, and find the malware. No, it's like it perfectly legit tools that they're using to allow them to con command and control your website. Yeah. Or even going so far, using the WordPress example, of creating users. Mm -hmm. cPanel, same thing. Maybe they create users. Maybe they add uh, an SMTP account so they can use your mail server for sending spam. That's right. That's a big one. Yeah. So if somebody doesn't have the tech knowledge to go in, take a look at their account, what's another way that they could deal with that? Go through the hosting provider and say, hey, can you check my account? Jeff, if you, if you really have that low of a knowledge when it comes to that kind of thing, you shouldn't, you, you shouldn't be doing yourself hosting. Right. Yeah. 
Realistically, if yeah, you're oh, for sure. if you're not familiar with terms like FTP, SFTP, and what the difference between those two things is, SSH, SSL, SMTP, POP3, IMAP, mm -hmm. if you don't know what any one of those terms are, MySQL, MariaDB. If right. you don't know what any of those words mean, then self-hosting is not for you. That's right. Um, again, I'm being general, but that's those are red flags for me and and you don't want to find yourself in a situation where yes i'm saving money on hosting but i part of that is that you are relinquishing the desire to pay someone to maintain that's right and putting that all on you yeah. so it works great if you're knowledgeable and you're getting the five dollar a month hosting account or whatever right as an example because you're able to do that maintenance yourself. But this is where church websites become illicit websites. Yes. And yeah. other business websites become defaced and data theft occurs. And some companies are, you know, irreparably uh, have their reputation damaged yes. because of these things. Um, well, and also if you have a website where you're doing any monetary payments, you know, if you're, if you're receiving thing. customer yeah. payments, like that's even, that's a whole other can of worms you're getting into there, Jeff. Well, yeah, but you've got to be careful for that kind of stuff. So please, please, please. Number one, change your password. Just like Becca said, mm -hmm. number two, start going through the files on your server to make sure something hasn't changed. If you haven't logged into your cPanel for a uh, security update, chances are you're probably not hit by this, but if you did, you need to start doing some checking. Mm -hmm. So good advice. Good advice. Thank you.